and stuff. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, you went. She got a lot of auction stuff. Lots of auction stuff. So let's see. I'm going to go over there. And the reason I just wanted to show them what, because I, I had to um, cream the butter and the brown sugar because... What, Jimmy? Oh, no. Let, uh, let me just... Lots of auctions. Was I muted? Hold on a minute. Hold on. I was talking to you guys and I was muted. Okay. So, sorry about that. Um, I wanted to show you what I was doing because I creamed together the brown sugar, the butter, and I put in the molasses. And that's what it looks like. That's what gingerbread is going to look like before we put in the rest of the stuff. And if you're trying this at home, this is a double batch. You can cut this in half, but this calls for six cups of flour, one and a half cups of firmly packed dark brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. I use salted butter, so I don't add salt, but if you use unsalted butter, then you wanna add a teaspoon of table salt, two tablespoons of ground cinnamon, two tablespoons of ground ginger, one teaspoon of ground cloves, three sticks of butter, one and a half cups of molasses, four tablespoons of whole milk. And then the royal icing is a different recipe. So what I have now, I'm gonna add my spices and um, let's see, and then my milk, and then I'm gonna gradually add my flour. So. I need my baking soda, my cinnamon, okay, the ginger, and my cloves. What butter do you use? Butter? I already did the butter. I already did. Salt? Yep. You need baking soda? And how about self rising flour? No, self rising flour. I don't think I'll ever, I, I don't know. I never ever had an issue with it. But I didn't use it in cookies, I guess. I only need to use them for Okay, so this is cinnamon and we need two tablespoons, two tablespoons. So this is, I just grabbed half, so I'm going to use four of these, okay, to make two. One, two, That's two. And the next one is two tablespoons of ginger.
I was grabbing jalapeno bacon. That was pretty good. I'm ginger. Okay. So I'm going to do four of these, which is two tablespoons. One. Is that L? It's Bucky. Oh, Bucky. Maybe she's going to bake. I Maybe she's going to bake tonight. Maybe. Three. Four. There we go. Next, we did cinnamon. We did the ginger. We're going to do one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Hello. Hello. Are you live? Yes, we are. Did you come in? Did you come in to bake? I even looked. I didn't know. <laughs> did you come in to bake? No, I just came on to come to the Zoom. <laughs> oh, the I didn't Zoom. Know you live. <laughs> yeah, I'm making gingerbread cookies. Thought L would be around, but who's L? She said she wanted to. I know she wanted to take a nap earlier and. Oh, geez, her and the naps. <laughs> one teaspoon of ground cloves. Just one of my favorite flavors. I had that, though. I saw was the one for 11 tonight. Hmm. Even that doesn't show live, right? Okay. So let me just go through this and make sure we've got everything in here. All right, there it is. One and a half, yep, baking soda. Mm -hmm. We're not putting the salt, we have the butter. Uh, two tablespoons of cinnamon, two tablespoons of ginger, one teaspoon of brown cloves, and the butter, the molasses, and four tablespoons of milk. Okay, but the only thing I have to add is the milk. And so let me do that. And then I'm gradually going to mix in six cups of flour. Let's take this one first. Not make a mess. Or everybody's so quiet. It's, it's not like a silent movie. You don't have to be quiet. <laughs> She's lying. Shush. I'm not cutting diamonds. Okay, like, so I, <laughs> I'm going to go in. Um, Oops. <laughs> oh, <add water. laughs> Remember that commercial where the guy would cut diamonds? It's right so smooth he can cut diamonds in the back of the car. And the guy's like, this diamond is worth like $10 million. I make one wrong cut on it, it's worth nothing. <laughs> yeah, I think that was for like Cadillac or something. Remember? Okay. Like, something yeah, like yeah. That. I'm like, yeah, I'm sure that really happened. Okay, let me put this here. Let me go and put that on to mix. What'd you do today? Um, what did I do? Oh, I got your package all boxed up and ready to labeled and ready to go. Finally. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Um, other than that, um, what in the world did I do? I don't know. <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, I put some the, the, some of the Christmas stuff away. Oh boy, yeah. Marco took her tree down. I know. <laughs> I had no choice. I had to. <laughs> you know why she had to? <laughs> you know why? Why? Oh yeah. You know why she had to? Yeah, because she got her her knitting thing. Yeah. <laughs> so big, it took up the whole room. <laughs> now you'll be able to knit coats and things like that. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, have, I have to learn how to use it. That'll be the thing. <laughs> I will say that. Once you fill the yarn in there, it's easy. It's probably, you know. It's, it's never been used. The pieces are all still wrapped in plastic. Oh, wow. Got it. Nice, yeah. nice and new. And... The only thing that's not with it is the book and I just downloaded it for free. Listen, when you um when you make those animals, do yep. are they double are they doubled? Like is the like how do you stuff them without the yarn sticking through the through the Yeah, oh. I double them so you don't see the stuffing. It's double, right? I was afraid you were gonna say that. Huh. <laughs> got to make i got to make a the dragon i got to make the dragon for the baby shower oh isn't that next week yeah oh my god bucky <laughs> i you know, wish i'd know, known that i have a cute little pattern for one i knit for when my grandson was a baby oh but yeah it's, it's a knitted one though yes yeah, i don't knit i i, I have crochet well, the crochet, that's not the problem. I can do any stitch. It's just okay. the shape that I need. Like That's what I wouldn't know. Let me look if it's in my Pinterest. I'm trying to think of what a dragon looks like. I really can't. I, yeah, I, I made, I'm I thinking what's a dragon I made. He has spikes all down his back. Yeah, right. Okay. Where do I look here? It's sort of like a dinosaur, only... Uh, mm-hmm. Spikes and uh, it, bre it breathes fire. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think I'll leave the fire out of this one. <laughs> but I figured I'm gonna do it in purple, green, and then I'm gonna I have metallic black yarn. So those are the colors I'm gonna use for the dragon. I actually have what is it? I have this dragon that, which I was gonna try and yeah, I'll show you. If I don't have it on here. I have it on my tablet somewhere. Mm, this one. This is the one I'm trying to. Oh, ah. cute! I feel the bumps on his on his forehead and stuff. I can do that like I did the the uh the clouds on the blanket. Oh yeah, right. I'll use that stitch for most of the Okay, it's not there, so it must be where's my tablet? Let me have a look. I'll here. do that down the back and the tail. Then the the arms and legs I'll do like just a half double crochet or something. I think it was I'll well, see it's probably on my tablet here if it is I can just send it to you yeah, that would be good because then I I have a shape to follow of course then I got, I'm going to have to draw it out and, and figure a shape from that And the black, the black um, sparkly on is it's black with like a a green iridescent shiny ribbon or thread through it. My kid's second dad took them to a trampoline park today. Well, one of those 
stuff. I don't know. I think it's laser. I did a bunch of stuff and oh, I've been there for two days. A trampoline park? Well, you know what I mean. One of those big, what do they call those places? It's, um, I think it has bumper, I think it has a lot of stuff. It's oh, new, it has, yeah, all kinds of physical things. It has, it has like, I think it has the flying walls and it has this big things that you get bounced on and a uh, bunch of stuff. Yes, things that would shatter my body into pieces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. This is really, really soft. I'm trying to get it off the thing. I don't know if I'm going to add more flour. I'm just going to work it when I see how it works. Because you don't want to add extra flour if you don't need it, because you'll make them tough. These are, are a real soft cookie, even though it's a cutout cookie, because you make them thick. I don't like like crunch gingerbread. Like I like it's funny because I like ginger snaps, but when I have a gingerbread cookie, I want it to be. Um, chewy. Yeah. So that's what we have there. Ooh, it looks good. Actually, it looks like chocolate ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking of chocolate ice cream, have chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to want to chill this a little bit. Maybe I'll do some painting while it's chilling. Showed my therapist my paintings today. And she's like, those are your poppies? I said, yeah, that was my first time. I mean, she goes, that was your first time? I said, yeah, I really did. really sad. She goes, oh my gosh, if I could do that on my first time, I would be like showing it to everybody, putting that in a frame. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let me see if I can okay. share this. So what we do is we divide this into... We take some cling wrap there. And it should like work like that. You'll see like it, it's a dough, very soft. And when you put it in the fridge, it gets hard. And when you take it out, you know, then it gets, you have to work it again and gets soft. You have to work with it a little bit. My hands are clean. Don't start freaking out. Why can't I find your name here? Whose name? Mine? No, um. Uh -uh. One. Sometimes I don't I don't even show them my work with them, but I remember one time I was making the dough here. I remember Sharon was on the why I remember falling in and I had to go pick up my daughter at the train. But tonight my daughter's not coming until tomorrow. So I didn't have to run out. I thought it was gonna be a repeat of the last time I made it. Because last time I made it, I made the dough and I opened happy mouth. I remember that. Seems like yesterday. Like my grandson still has this dragon. He has wings too. Oh yeah, the wings. Yeah, he's not real big though, but he's got cute the uh, spikes down his back and stuff. He is cute. Now I've started send it's going to you in Slack whether it's done or not. I don't know because oh, okay. I'm sending it from my thing. <laughs> oh yeah, I see it. Let me see. <laughs> Scooter wants she even just send her some dough. She said she'll bake it herself. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll go into business making dough. You can break it yourself. Oh, it looked bad before you mixed it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't mix it. Are you saying it looks like a certain emoji? Yeah. 
the way it looked before, it looked like chocolate ice cream. So I went and got them. I got <laughs> a cup of ice cream, but now I just looked at it. It was not like chocolate ice cream anymore. I chocolate ice cream. Let me find you the piece inside. Yeah. It looks like that team we had I put in Slack. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? There were some shoes instead of like walking and crap or something? Yeah, the step crap feel. Oh, this is like a cloud. Step this step is really feeling. soft. This dough is so soft. And it, okay. I guess that's the point they were trying to make is that these are like pads that go into your shoes. And it right. makes it so soft, it's like that step crap feel. Well, but why would you ever? I don't know. I would never just like. Describe that as anything good, right? Whenever you step it, if you ever step in that, right? Do you ever even think that feels soft? You just feel like, oh gosh, right? You don't know. I'd love to recreate that feeling with shoes. No. <laughs> Squeezing up through your toes and stuff. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, thank you. But I guess in other countries, they like that feeling, and that's how they describe it. You well, know? no, a lot of times they don't even know what they're right. Oh my gosh, we used to have to rewrite some of those ads from third party sellers, and this is crazy. <laughs> oh, I know, Binge. I know. Mommy's got to feed you. So the royal ice thing is probably what you would like, Scooter, because that's all pure sugar. You like that. Elle would like that, too. She could sit inside with the uh, royal ice thing. Yeah, I like icing. I like to take icing and then put it in the freezer. Oh, God. <laughs> icing in the freezer and what? Eat it like ice cream? Yeah. Because it doesn't solidify, like, you know, as hard as ice cream, but it's still cold and hard like ice cream, but mm -hmm. soft. Very rich, though. You can't eat a lot of it. No. Well, I guess I should say I can't eat a lot of it, but I don't know. But maybe other people can. That crazy thing today with that guy in Kentucky? That was crazy, yeah. Wow. He got a girl, he met up with like a girl online in North Carolina who was 16. And then he told her he was 19. And she was like, I guess, just going through with some teenage angst. And I think she was living with her grandmother or something. And, you know, she was probably in a mood and she decided, oh, I'm going to take off with this 19 year old guy. He's going to come from Kentucky and pick me up. So she got in the car with him and Apparently they had, you know, something to do with each other. And then he said to her, um, she said, you look kind of older than uh, 19. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm 20, 20, I think you took 25. So she said, oh, okay. And then um, he, then they get pulled over by a North Carolina officer. Yeah, I think it was a deputy sheriff. Um, and he says, okay, if this guy asks us to step out of the car, I'm going to shoot him because he had a gun with him. So she's like, oh, okay, but they, the guy, you know, the cop didn't. So they went on to Kentucky. They get to the house. He says, you know, tell my mother and he lived with his mother um, and anybody else that you're uh, 18 or 19. He said they, they have conflicting stories about whether they said she was 18 or 19. So um, then Christmas Day and she, oh, she disappeared December 5th, she was reported missing by her family. So Christmas Day would be 20 days. The mother, the guy's mother, starts hearing like a whole bunch of yelling and fighting and arguing. And she's like, I guess it got to a point that she called 911 or the police, whatever. They come to the house and he tells them, oh, yeah, there was a girl here, but she left. And they're like, oh, yeah, she left. And then he, they let them come in the house. And apparently he left some drug paraphernalia out because he had been doing marijuana and crack with this girl. And he left it out. And apparently he went to grab it and I think throw it into a wood stove. And that's when they arrested him, took him out. He resisted arrest. They took him out to the police car. Then, um, then they uh, said, okay, we're going back in the house. Well, this girl. 
Hell, they went upstairs. They found the girl under a trap door, under a rug in his room. The mother says she has no idea that they did drugs. She has no idea there was a trap door. She has no idea of any of this because she doesn't <laughs> go up to her son's room. And she was told the girl was 19 or 18. So, you know, she said, he's still my son. I loved him. Some reports said that she actually blamed the girl. And then she said, um, you know, th that uh, the, the girl's mother said she's pursuing charges in North Carolina. But the guy's actually 34 years old. Oh, God. And how old was she? 16. Did they find her dead under the carpet? <clears throat> no, she was alive. Oh, brother. First of all, why would she go off with a total stranger in the first place? That's what I don't understand about people. Yeah. Like, how would you take that chance? I know. Getting in a car with a stranger and taking off, and after he said he was going to kill the cop if he get got pulled out of the car, I would have jumped out of the car right in the end. Went to the cop and said, "Excuse me, I don't know who this guy is. I don't want to be with him. Take me home." Right. Yeah. But I guess if you're the kind of person who would run off with a stranger, them saying they're going to shoot a cop wouldn't worry you so much. I don't know. No. How's Kevin? I guess he's okay. We're live. We're live, Al. Oh. So, are you going to bake anything, Al? No, you didn't tell me we were baking today, or I would have got something. You I do. told you I was baking gingerbread today. I said a million, million times. I thought you have chocolate chip cookie dough, don't you? No, I don't. I would have got that, but I bought so many other things. Oh, I didn't know. Carolyn, you didn't tell me. I swear you didn't. <laughs> Margo, <You're kidding. laughs> did I say that I was doing gingerbread today? You yeah, did. we're all here. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't hear you. I miss it. You know how I miss things sometimes. Miracle, yeah, miracle year, take us away. <laughs> <laughs> That's because she was too busy engulfing herself into her lemon squares. So you. Yeah. Anything to us, you would have been like, mm hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good, I'm a good, I'm a I'm a good, 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 I'm a Christy message. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. getting notifications. I know. I don't understand that. That's why I didn't. I, I came on. I didn't know you were live either. I was like, yeah, I didn't even look at my phone yet. I only figured you were live because you were showing. No, I just came right on. Yeah, nobody's getting notifications. Okay. I'm looking. Yeah. Chicken for the dog. I would have got stuff to make. I couldn't get stuff to make gingerbread. That stuff has been coming in for days. The gingerbread mix it won't come in. Okay. Three days. So royal icing. Mm. Oh. Oh, royal icing. Thank you. We use, let's see, at least one and a half cups of confectioner sugar. So... Usually we double this, so we're going to use like Thanks, three cups. Um, I put lemon juice in mine, it gives it a nice little kick. Yeah. And then it. one pasteurized yeah. egg white. That's why I told you to get the meringue powder that is pasteurized egg white. That makes it safe for kids or people or anybody to eat. Otherwise, you can end up killing a bunch of people. So that's the uh, meringue powder. Get rid of them all in one shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Oh, you know what Jimmy was watching on the news? Some guy, I don't know where he was located. He went in the woods. He had an app on his phone about, um, oh, gosh, mushrooms, right? And oh, he got a mushroom, and it said that was an edible mushroom. 
Mm. And he ate it and he almost lost his life. It, it's like shuts down your liver. And then this other guy went into the woods and he was showing like the apps and everything and what this does. So let me see. Oh, no. Yeah. You know, that happened to me when I was six years old. Brother. You so ate a mushroom? I saw a mushroom on the lawn. I picked it up and I ate it. I thought it oh was like a mushroom that you would eat. And then I went inside and proceeded to get sick as a dog. And I remember my mother calling up the doctor. And they were saying, they said it sounded like I was poisoned. And then they said, have you eaten anything? And I said, no, except the mushroom. And they were like, what mushroom? I said, the mushroom out on the lawn. So oh, I, my gosh. Uh, they had to give me shots and stuff. Oh, my gosh. Because they said, well, I never some, some, some are less than others. Some will just make you sick and some will like, kill you. Shut yeah, down I don't know if this was a killing kind. kind. It was just a it got sick kind, I guess. I don't know. But I did have to get a shot. They said it was the okay. antidote. On this. Oh, shoot. No. But I didn't eat another mushroom until I was 14 because I was terrified of them. I was like, no, I'm not eating mushrooms. And when people would say, oh, these mushrooms, are oh, no, I don't eat mushrooms. I didn't I didn't think of it that it's a different kind of mushroom. Oh, a mushroom was a mushroom. I was like, well, my body doesn't like mushrooms. <laughs> I remember his name, Dr. Thaler. That was his name. Okay, so let me see what the conversion on this is. Use two teaspoons and two teaspoons of water for one for each egg white. So I need two egg whites. So this will be two teaspoons of meringue powder and two. And four teaspoons. See, I already forgot that I got a question. Okay, so for each one, two teaspoons and two tablespoons of water. So we need four teaspoons of marine powder and four tablespoons of water. Okay. Four teaspoons. One. Two, three, four, and I need three tablespoons of water. Can you put that under the camera? The marine power? Yeah, like what, what are we doing? Because Yeah, I was just moving to, I'm trying to see what you can put with my tablespoon thing. Bring the water over there. Oh, interesting. Okay. Tablespoon, tablespoon. There we go. Oh, sorry, puppy dog. This is chocolate. Oh, mommy, you know, chicken. This is a hack, so. Chicken. Yes. Chicken. That's two. Two and a half. Three. Three and a half. Four. So you need measuring spoons to cook. Uh, very, yeah. very important. Dollar tree, you get them inexpensive. <laughs> okay, Margo. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Rosalita is telling you in the chat, L. Oh, okay. She said we need to get to the dollar store and help you purchase all the essentials right. for cooking and making. Yeah, we need to show you how to set your kitchen up. You said at least it's inexpensive if you give up on Thanks, your new Rosalita. culinary ventures. <laughs> Thanks, Rosalita. So we have that. Um, let's see. So that's our fake egg whites.
This part's new to me. I, I never ice the gingers when I make them. Oh, this is my favorite part. You probably would just eat the icing without the ginger cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So oh, it's Scooter, I think. <laughs> my sister-in-law, once we were all baking ginger... Yeah, I really remind my son, Michael, about that. We were all making gingerbread houses over there, and she kept just whipping up more and more royal icing. She said, oh, I'm more... Yeah. The icing is the best. Okay, so we need... I've got another video of Gia's to put up. Oh, another one. Yeah. Decorated. I want to yeah, decorate the gingerbread house. I don't know oh. if I've ever had actual gingerbread cookies. Oh, they're yummy. With icing or without. Like, I don't know. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh. they're like Ethan. My kids love them, but Ethan especially loves them. And uh, I have actually have a gingerbread um one kit here, gingerbread house kit, but it's a train, the choo choo train. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are these are these are really flavorful. Like those, I said to Al, how can we eat those? Because they're like cardboard, it's like decoration. They it's are, really they're like. Oh, yeah. yeah, and she's like, "Oh, I can do it." But see, if you would have ginger, real gingerbread, like, <laughs> you would be like, "Oh, I did." What was My that? kids and I have eaten the candy. Sorry, it was me. I have oh. a, was looking at a knitting video. Three. Let's see. Oh, here. Oh, I did it. I can't eat anything with that icing on it. <laughs> You and Scooter will be fighting over the icing, Al. Oh, we already <laughs> had that problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying. I would get like um, you know, the icing that just you know, regular canned ice cream. Well, Duncan Hines ice cream. I, I, I mean, not ice cream. Icing. At the beach, oh. Carolyn made this I would just icing put it in the for. What kind of icing was that, Carolyn? That you made at the beach that Scooter and I were. Vanilla butter. Buttercream. Oh, it was so oh, good. Mine too, Captain Lee. I love them. Mr. Lemon, where's my lemons? Jimmy, you better not abuse my lemons. No, okay. Need three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. It's a real lemon. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think I put the icing in the freeze. I put it in the refrigerator the last time. And I only did that because my son opened up the icing, took a big spoonful of it, and then cover back on and put it back in the cabinet. Wow. The reason that I found it was I found the spoon in the sink and I was like, what is on the spoon? <laughs> I thought he was like eating out of the, the mayonnaise jar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> eating blobs of may mayonnaise. And I was like, what is this? And he was like, frosting. I was like, where did you get frosting from? And he pointed to the cabinet. And I, I was like, you opened that? Like, yeah. I said, well, once you open it, you can't leave it in the cabinet. You have to put it in the refrigerator or it'll go bad. <laughs> so I took it and I stuck it in the refrigerator. And then, I don't know, later on that night, I don't know, I took it out and I was going to make something. And I said, well, how much frosting is actually left in here? And I opened it up and I took a spoon and I went, and then I started eating it like ice cream. And I was like, ah, oh. I never made cookies that night. I just ate frosting. <laughs> I would do that. Now there wasn't enough, there really wasn't enough to even, like, I don't know if I would have made a cake, it would have just been on top or whatever. So I was like, forget it. I'm not gonna. I'll get another thing of frosting, and and I just Eat ate this. it. So now, now we need. Do, do, do. Okay, so we're supposed to beat this. I'm like, that's not gonna 
crazy to think that. We put our fake, we put our fake egg bite in there. Oh, we didn't put our fake egg bite in there. Okay. Let's say. All right, let me go beat this up. Just beat it. Beat it. <laughs> You should bake your brownies, uh, Buffy. Yeah. You should have made your brownies tonight. I know, but I just finished cleaning the kitchen when I came up. I made BLTs and the bacon splatters was everywhere. Oh. And I put I have the screen that you put over it, but it still gets so into it. Back to the stove, I had to clean up. Can't stand it. I cook it in the oven now. I was going to buy Thank that you. cookie dough, that roll of cookie dough, but I had to spend so much money on stuff. The other thing, I have so many pans in my oven. I gotta get rid of all of these. I don't even use them. I need my one roasting pan, my cookie thing. I have a, I have like three cupcake tin muffin things. But mm -hmm. how often do I make cupcakes? I made cupcakes like four years ago once. I used to mm -hmm. make them when the kids were younger. I used to make cupcakes a lot. Yeah. But I don't really make them anymore. I don't need them, and Dominic certainly doesn't need them, and Jay doesn't need them. So, but I do make some. I like to. I I will make brownies. That's why I have things. I used to have. I probably have up there. Oh wait, you know what I do have. But now I can bake something. I have the eggs, I have the butter, I have the powdered sugar. Like I have stuff. You don't have the flour, so you need that. Well, I have okay. cast iron gingerbread man skillet. It comes with the gingerbread mix and a cast iron pan in the shape of a gingerbread man. Oh, yeah. So you, you mix up the stuff and you put it right in there on the skillet. The hmm. skillet see. Yeah, you put the whole skillet into the oven. Yeah, and I think, did you buy regular sugar too, Elle? Uh, no. Oh, wait. I think you might have, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I did. Once you have sugar and flour, you're in business pretty pretty close. Yeah. Serve as is, or add your favorite ice cream or topping. So I need softened butter. One egg. L rough. Uh, I don't know if you can see the chat or not. Uh huh. No. Uh, uh, rough says L. I just found a set of kitchen utensils for you that I'm going to order. I need your address again. Can you please give it to me in Slack? Oh, rough. Oh, rough. You're so good to me. What, what did I do? A set of uh, kitchen utensils. Oh, she's so sweet. Yes, Rafael. I will. Okay, now. See, Carolyn, we'll be baking every week. Right. Yep. Yep. New baking segment, Carolyn. Yeah, yeah. L in the kitchen. L in the kitchen. <laughs> in the kitchen with L. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, thanks. look at that, Bucky. It's a little skillet. You know, I piped this, so if it doesn't Pipe good for me, then I'll add a little water. Oh, you can't see it. I don't have butter. But I just so have this right now. I can leave it like that. Point. It dries and it stays shiny and they dry hard so you can stack the cookie. It's not a. Okay. So now I've got to see. Keeps going freezing. Okay. Oh, You have margarine, but you wouldn't want to use margarine in that, right? No, no margarine. Yeah, see, that's what I have. 
Butter is better. Butter is better. <laughs> I have to audition for that part to say butter is better. Butter is better. Do you remember that commercial where the girl comes out with a tray of cookies? Like, she's not a girl. She's like a young married woman. She goes, Mom, I baked your recipe just like you did. And then she hands them out to everybody and they all pick a bite and they're like, ew, these don't taste like yours. And she's like, did you use real butter? And she's like, no. And she's like, butter is better. <laughs> That's the part I auditioned for. <laughs> I didn't get it. I guess my New York accent was too thick. Right, they didn't want butter is better. <laughs> butter, butter. Butter. Butter is better. <laughs> Man, where were you, Oz? I don't know. I lost them somewhere. I left them in Jersey. <laughs> Ruff is so good to me. It's funny how every state has their own accent. Mm -hmm. My brother-in-law comes from New Jersey. He'll say, I'll put it in the bag. And I look at him like, oh, you're going to put it in the bag? <laughs> he's like yeah how do you say it I'm like bag and he's like well that's what I said I said no you said bag <laughs> <laughs> and then we had the bag and bag fight <laughs> it's bag no it's bag I don't think I have any accent Large. hi Ross hello farm life Hello, Captain Lee. Hello, Rosalita. Hello, Captain, Can you see the chat? Hello, Christine Ferrara. Hello, Abbott Abbott. Talking to me? Yep. Now, because I'm downstairs now. Okay, Farm Wife says she has a small crochet pattern for a dragon. She thinks it takes less than an hour and it's about four or five inches okay. high. Oh, that would be good. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, come on, Ben. You done eating? And uh, L, can you hear yes. me? Yes. Yes. Ruff says the colors are khaki, white, or black. Which do you like? Who said that? Ruff for the kitchen utensils. Oh, uh, let's see. White, please. White, please, Ruff. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you. <laughs> Mom goes like our secretary. You're hired, Mom. <laughs> Oh, look, it's this. Frosty the I'm not on the chat now because I'm eating. As soon as I stop eating, I'll get on the chat. That's okay, Al. My son and daughter-in-law make gingerbread cookies they cut out with the boys every year before Christmas time. Yeah, maybe I'll still yet be able to. What's that, Elle? Maybe I'll still be able to. <laughs> I'll have to order everything tomorrow, though. And make them like the day after New Year's. Hi, Justina. Hi, Justina. All right. my stars. Indiana doesn't have an accent. <laughs> I 
Margo, how big is the uh, dragon you sent? What is the size? Mm, I'm just trying to picture it. I can't remember, but he, I'd say he's maybe seven or eight, eight inches. Maybe he wasn't. He wasn't humongous. Yeah, my grandson still has him, and I made that almost nine years ago. <laughs> wow. I figure since I'm doing the whole woodland thing, I, I did the, um, well, I didn't finish the bunny one because I ran out of that color yarn and the other one that I thought was the same color yarn, it's not. So oh. I sort of stopped. I was working on the ears. I just have the ears and the tail left. So, I don't know. But I think I do have another skein of yarn. that color. The thing is I have so much yarn in so many places, so I have to like look everywhere. Um, Gee, I have that. I've got the reindeer now. I can put my hands on a few balls today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Mine no. aren't in. Well, I don't have balls. I leave them in skeins. Oh, mine are in skeins or whatever they are. The way they come from the store, I haven't rolled them. Yeah, I don't have a rolling thing to do it. I have to do it by hand if I do it. When I do, yeah, yeah, me too. It's just. I just hope it pulls out of the middle of the ball. That it's not bad. Yeah, I take it out of the middle. Um, for me, when I put it in the ball, it ends up rolling away and then falling onto the floor and across the room for whatever reason. Well, I asked for a yarn ball, so I got a yarn ball for Christmas, too. Ah, oh, did you? Yeah. Because you can set the ball in it. But before that, I was putting my ball, like, in a plastic shopping bag, you know, like a yeah. grocery, grocery bag. And, yeah. and tying it. And then it can roll around the floor and you can still keep pulling it out of the bag. And I do that so the cat doesn't get it. Yeah. And Alex used to do that. When the ball would fall and go across the floor, then he'd grab it and pull it even further. Yep. <laughs> then he'd roll on his back and use his back paws on. I'd be like, no, oh, no, you're going to rip it all off. <laughs> I have a knitting bag, too, that has big grommets in it that you can just pull the yarn up through. Yeah. And it just bounces down around inside the bag and it comes out then easy. I can't make out the picture. I'm what picture? The plate. I'm the plate. Are they done? No, oh, those are cookie, cookie cutters. cutters. Oh, those are the cookie cutters. Oh, okay. How small is your I'm blind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you need glasses? I didn't need rooms. I had glasses. I didn't have them on. Oh, okay. I can come out of the chat. Okay. Oh, you know what I got too? I got a um a necklace for Angela. It's it's a little hot, and it's got all the diamonds around, and then it's got two little baby footprints hanging in the inside of it. And it says, "There's a paper that comes with this. It's an amazing one. mama to be." And there's a little poem. It says, Ten little fingers and ten little toes, the sweetest of smiles and cute little nose. A brand new miracle to call your own. Parenthood is one of those best journeys in life. Buckle up and enjoy the ride. You are going to make a wonderful mama. Aww. Aww. I'm going to give that to her at the her baby show. Awesome. That's so adorable, Bucky. She's so lucky to have you as a mom. Aw, thank you. And Ben is going to be lucky to have you as a Nima. Nima? What do you give me yeah. to be called? What? Nima. Nima. Yeah. 
Mima. Uh, Carolyn. Uh -huh. Captain Lee is asking if you knew why the camera crew, crew was with Gypsy Rose. You know, I, you know, somebody brought up something that it might be for that uh, lifetime thing that prison, maybe it's part of the, the end of that. She's, yeah, she's saying she saw it was for Lifetime Network is filming a special to run yeah. January 5th to 8th. I think it is. Somebody, Ruff wants your link to Amazon, Carolyn. It's right in the um, description of every single video. Yeah, it's in the description, in the description of what? Of this one. Of it's this in the description video, of Ruff. every, oh, okay. Video, yeah. Every look. Turn your video on. No. <laughs> yeah. Every time I type in the chat, that's why I hate typing because I type and it freezes. The thing I said always stays there. I have to like right, move you for a minute. Just go black for a minute. I've got to move the camera for a second. Come back in. Okay. And don't and freak out. It's still here. Whatever, what everybody said. Look how much people wrote, and I didn't see any of this. Okay. Start All right. Oh, you have migraines, Captain Lee? I hate migraines. Oh, I know. I can't function when I have a migraine. You know what it is? When I get a migraine, I usually lose my sight. So I have to, like, I oh, have that's to horrible. for a while. That's if I don't, like, it just gets worse. But it's also like a warning because, like, I get the auras first. Yeah, and then I then I lose my sight and I get the zigzag patterns. And it sound this sounds crazy in, in the the shape of the letter C, and it's green and purple, um, like triangles that glow and pulse, and that's all I can see. Like when I look. It's right in the line of my vision. Now, I thought I was the only person who ever got that because I've never heard anybody say anything like that. And then my aunt comes and she's telling me, she says, oh, you know, your grandmother used to get migraines. And I said, did she really? And she goes, yeah, she used to get this weird thing. She said it was in the shape of the letter C. And I looked at her and I was like, with green and purple triangles? She was like, yeah, how did you know? I was like, because that's what I get. She oh, my like, gosh. Your grandmother got it her whole life. But it's I had crazy. Never, so I, I was a kid when, you know, she left and moved down to Florida. And okay, so I talked to her about it. It's not just me. Still, just my family. I, and nobody else has ever said, "Yeah, I get that too." So I don't know. <laughs> when I describe it to the doctors, they look at me like I have two heads. But they are called ophthalmological migraines, so it has something to do with my eyes. I'm really going to just roll my dough right out on the counter, but yeah, so. Oh, yeah, I get that. The tiny hairs, those things that keep falling down. It looks like confetti, but then if you oh, look yeah, up yeah. Well, at the I've top, had those since I was a kid. Yeah, those are like the, they call the floaters. They're floaters, but, I, you know, when I was a kid, I swore because they look like, they look like cells, really long cells with the nucleus inside. Yeah, don't and you I think you can see I that? I was seeing microscopic air yes. part. I thought I was seeing something that nobody else did, and I thought, oh, my gosh. Because I would look What's... up at the blue sky and see all those things, and I was like, I'm seeing the molecules. Right, I'd see them in the rooms, too, and I, I'd say, oh, this is crazy. I, just, I must have microscopic sight. <laughs> I, I thought I had supervision. <laughs> I was like, I can see the molecules. Anybody else see anybody that? Else see molecules? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. 
What's the matter? A little snow? Where? Uh, when mm -hmm. is it going to snow? Uh-oh. 4 a.m.? Oh, great. <laughs> so I don't make plans. Oh, that looks so good. Everybody's so quiet. Like no one's studying you doing that. I want say. that so bad. I'm just thinking about how much I want those gingerbread cookies that you're making. Okay. <laughs> so I do make them thick because that, they stay soft. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. That's the hardest part, rolling them out. Run, run, as fast as you can. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! <laughs> no, it's run, run, as fast as you can. Can't you catch me, I'm the Gingerbread Man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to you for the icing on. Mm. Oh. I'm going to oh. live vicariously. Okay. Who's there, Branch? Who's there? Get him. Who's there? Go see. Mm -hmm. Oh, you vicious little puppy, you. Vicious little puppy. <laughs> it's so cute. I love when he growls because he's so, <laughs> he's so un, um, threatening. threatening and violent that when he growls, it's funny. <laughs> oh, well, you know, it was so funny today. FedEx man. Now, normally they know where to leave the packages. Must be a new driver. So widely and quick. I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. Well, anyway, the, the, I see this guy, and he's standing outside his FedEx truck, and the three, the two Scotties and the, and the Westie, right? They're uh, right by the house, guarding the house by the, where the fence line ends, right? And uh, the guy's, like, standing there. Like, he doesn't know what to do. And I'm thinking, like, they're little, but people are scared. Like, they don't want to come up. So you're like, is it, <laughs> that, like, what if this dog bites me? Like, you know, so I go, and says, they won't do anything. I said, well, they will. I said to myself, <laughs> they, I wouldn't, uh, yeah, if they ever did so, they probably would um, bite them if it came at me. But uh, I said, just leave it on the big rock. And he's like, okay. And then what was it? It was... Uh, I can't what it was we got for FedEx. Oh, is that Rocky's food? Uh oh. Yeah. What do you mean? They don't make you any. At New York okay. City, they're setting up for the, you know. Well, oh, he's going to steer us again. Get you with the stuff. Setting up for people to stand and watch the performance and everything. Okay, so how do I do that? What are you wearing? Oh, a belt, of course, this. You know, you're supposed to put boom, boom. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to. And this time, I'm going to take my medicine and not do the stupidest thing like I did the last. You know what the, um, you know what the, um, 
people go to Times Square do. Yeah. They have to wear diapers because yeah. once you get in there, there's no way to get out. To Are them. you kidding? Yeah. No, I'm dead serious. That's what you got to oh, do. Oh, that is so gross. I know. What did you say? Wait, what did you say, Bucky? When you go to Times Square to watch the ball drop. They give you diapers to wear. Well, they don't oh, give yeah. Yeah. Everybody, see, she knows. You have to wear diapers because yeah. there's no. Oh, get out. Once you're in there, there's no getting out. It would take you hours to get out of that crowd to go to the You bed. never heard that, Carolyn? No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, I did. I tried to forget it. <laughs> I've, you know, I've always known. It, yeah, I had rented a room right across from there the, in the Marriott Marquis one time, and yeah, I, I didn't go downstairs. Yeah, no way am I going down could, there. Yeah, how, could you imagine? Where would you go to the bathroom? They're not going to let people use the bathrooms in those stores. No, right. That's, I never that's used the bathrooms in a public Mary place. Mary Bonkey is right there. Like there's all the stores. Because mm -hmm. they'd have a million people coming into each store at, like, at all times. And as you said, you're all jammed in there. If you're, Especially if you're up front. It would take you to get through that crowd. You're like shoulder to shoulder, you know? I lived in New York 15 years and not once did I ever go to Times Square. I mean, you're serious. Yeah. <laughs> No, Never. I have no, no desire. Every time I look at that, I'm like, are these people crazy? I know. Why do you want to do that? It's freezing cold out there. That's why. Years people have Some been out people there. people have that type of personality. This is why home is better for us. Yeah. You get to watch it on the TV and watch the poor bastards what? that live there. Poor bastards. <laughs> what do you mean? French. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Hey, Dom. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, watching these people suffer. Did you have a nice Christmas, Dom? Yeah, I did. Good. I got a lot of good stuff. Good. What was your favorite thing? Um, my favorite uh, gift, gift was um, mommy getting me the GTA game that I, that has all three games in one console thingy. Oh, awesome! <laughs> it's a new. It's the new one. It comes with like all three games on one cartridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they up and they upgraded the the graphics better than their PlayStation Two version. Oh, cool! Okay. All right, I'm going. Oh, and it's so weird. I always try to have one angel on each tray because I think it. <laughs> well, sure. That's the angel that watches over all the other cookies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait to see how these come out. And I can't wait to start icing them. Now, do they rise? They don't rise? Is that why you have to use cutters? Oh. If you know how you make the chocolate chip cookies, you could just scoop it out and make a round ball, but then it comes out a, as a cookie because it melts. Right, yeah. But you want you want them in the shapes, too. I mean, you could cut them. But yeah. don't, they don't do that, I, right? I, I love cutout cookies. I've always, always loved to make cutout cookies. Yeah. What do you do with that extra batter? Don't you make more? Oh yeah. This is this is just it? a little bit. I have a whole nother huge ball in there. See that? No, I throw it out now. I'm done. <laughs> make one tray, that's good. You can make one I'm big good. ball like that. <laughs> <laughs> is your gingerbread? There's your angel, there's the meatball. What do you want? <laughs> See, I would be able to stop from eating the icing. Don't even need the cookies, right? Just make the icing and eat that. <laughs> I had so that, sure. that same cookie, <laughs> cookie cutter. Cookie cutter. I had that same one. The deer. Yeah. But it ended up. I don't know how it ended up in my. Coffee can of screws and nuts and bolts and stuff like that. Oh, really? And then Jay took it outside to use it and left it out, and it filled up with rainwater. 
and everything mm -hmm. in it rusted, including the cutter. I was like, why would you leave the thing of na screws out there in the rain? Oh, I forgot. I was like, yes, but now everything in there is nothing but rust. <laughs> like, we'll leave them in there. I'll use them. I, I was like, you it doesn't help me because now I don't have any nails or screws or anything when I need them. You know I mean, I have all my own tools, all my own I have all my own stuff like that. I have stuff like that happen every day. Why are my good show towels outside? Oh, I had to try oh, forget the towels. I, I've oh. given up towels. My towels look the, the most horrible. I, I'm not buying any more new ones. I bought one brand new. The day I bought it, Jay painted something with black acrylic paint and used the brush to wipe the, oh, used the sure. purple to wipe his brush on. I was like, why would you put black acrylic paint on my white, fuzzy, brand new towel? Oh, I know. And they take a white towel all the time to wipe grease or something off. Right. They well, take a white towel. Wash well, you could wash it. I'm like, that doesn't come out. Thank you. Oh, Thank gosh. you. <laughs> that does. Well, then, and then, then I get the hint. Well, why do you buy a towel that you can't use? And I know you can use it. Like, he'll take one of my flower sack towels, right? That, I'm like, but that's not to clean the grease from like the barbecue grill. Okay. Right. That's oh. it. Yeah. He'll clean oh my the stove. gosh. Do you understand? Towel. Yeah. You don't. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Are you it cleaning takes... the stove with it with a bathroom towel. I, I know. Just, oh, well, you can just wash it. It doesn't take the grease out. It's going to be a stain. I know. I know. They, 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 use they bleach. don't understand that. All right. I, I know about bleach. Yeah. I use bleach. It doesn't get it out. Carolyn, <laughs> do I need a rolling pin to spread out dough or is there something else I could use? I need a rolling pin. I need a rolling pin. Yes. If you're going to roll cookies, yeah. How much do they cost about? Are they cheap? You can get a cheap dollar tree. They are. <laughs> I can get it. What, what? The Dollar Tree, they are. $1. Oh, good. I can get one at the Dollar Tree. Cool. Um, let me ask a question. Um, Carolyn's so mature. Okay. She doesn't, she doesn't like snack on the cookie dough or. Oh. Steal, the, uh, steal the icing or anything like that. Oh, you're not supposed to eat cookie dough. It's got raw egg in it. And now they say that flour is raw. Did you hear that, uh, Jimmy? You shouldn't eat uh, flour. Oh, really? If flour is raw, do not eat it. No, flour, like you cook with, bake with. It says it's a raw product. Do not eat it. Really? Mm -hmm. I never saw that on the tent. Oh, yeah, that was on oh. your bag of flour last night, wasn't it? On the bag of flour, yep. Uh -oh. Oh, no. Carolyn, does the sweater fit? Yes. Does it look pretty on you? Yes, but I'm not wearing it now because I'm. I'll be all full of flour. Oh, of course, but good. I'm so glad. Thank you. You gotta show me oh, later. Wow. I can see it. Yeah, model it for us. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So we got, where's Sharon? Sharon's not on? No. no. She's got her days and nights mixed up. My son, Michael, actually had that happen to him once at like three years old. I'm not joking. And um, we had to do everything to get him right again. Yeah. He was literally, um, we kept saying, oh, my mother and I ever do. Okay, we kept him up. But, and then... Um, he would just fall fast asleep and we couldn't wake him up. And then I, I'm like, I've never thought I've heard this expression all my life. Like, oh, they got their days and nights mixed up. But I yep, never thought it was a real thing. It was. And we're like, but, you know, he was old enough. Like we could talk to Michael, you know, you got to stay. Uh, okay. Okay. But we could not. It took us, I don't know, days to get him straightened out. Yeah. You have to do a little bit at a time because. Oh my gosh. And we say, keep oh, them keep them day, it doesn't work. They just at yeah. some point. You're going to have to go into the bathroom. You come out of the bathroom, they sound asleep. Oh yep, my God. exactly what happened. Yep. And then you couldn't wake him up. I'm like, I'm, we're picking him up, standing him up. Michael, come on. And then you're like, oh, this is crazy. How could this happen? I went to That well, happened to me when my when Eric was a baby. Yeah. See, but he, he, Michael was in a bit, you know, like he yeah. totally, and he was very mature because he was the third and he never wanted to be a baby and he understood everything. And <laughs> oh my gosh, they so were like, you know, you got your day and he'd even be like yeah 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 don't fall asleep okay because you're like all mixed up okay and then <laughs> the minute you turned around forget it 
Can I say the weirdest thing that happened to me today? What? I took a nap and I woke up at like six o'clock and I thought it was six o'clock in the morning. And I looked over and the sun was the same place that it sets. And I'm like, how can it rise and set in the same place? <laughs> I'm like, that's so weird. I'm like, it rises and sets in the same place here. So I'm like, huh. so I just like closed my eyes again. And I just was like, I'm just going to stay here for a little while longer because it's only six o'clock in the morning. So I'm like, okay. And it was six o'clock at night. <laughs> yeah, we were wondering where you were. Like, Isn't that crazy? I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I looked at my thing and I'm like, it's still Friday. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. That's Yeah, when that happened, when when Eric was a baby, it was um, it was my fault because when I brought him home from the hospital, I decided to bath him in the evening because the house would be warmer. Mm -hmm. I thought, <laughs> and then he had been bathed in the morning in the hospital, and it flipped him right around. It was awful. I think it's better to bath babies in the evening. That's what I did with mine because then they're nice and calm. With like, I used the lavender. And stuff like that, and then they're nice and tired for bed and relaxed. No, don't you the bathroom think? in the evening, and it was like it was morning. He'd stay up all night. Mm -hmm. Not mine. I flipped it back around to the way they did it in the hospital, and then he was fine again. I'm going to make gingerbread cookies next. Carol, I'm going to order my stuff tomorrow. And it comes in a couple of days. All right. Hmm? I said good. Yeah. 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 But I'm not going to eat the cookies, like gorge myself with them because they're going to be on a diet. So I can only eat like one or two cookies. Like a day. I have to be strong. This tree going to come to you January 3rd, Al. The stuff Ruff is sending you. I don't know if, if you yes, read that. Yes, thank you so much, Ruff. That's so cool. Isn't that so sweet? I'm going to be like a professional baker now. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well. No, we have to get, we have a no L sign. Now we have to get a go L sign and an O L sign. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, I, was said, Noel. To, I said, I, I to, held it up. No L. <laughs> I was trying to put my no L sign up in front of me when I was baking yesterday, but it wouldn't Ooh, look at those guys. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, I'm pretty oh, yeah, that's cool. cool. Right? That's cool. Then we put the icing on. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Abby Dabby Doo, yeah, you get that tooth with the uh, in the eyes? Yeah. I, I think it could be genetic. Ten minute break over there on the other side, so I'm gonna meet Okay. Can you see the chat now, Al? Yes. Because Ruff has another message in there about your baking set. Oh, that's okay, Ruff. I'll get one. No, she has the, it has different kinds of spatulas, measuring spoons, 
Measuring cups, a whisk, and tongs, and a small awesome. brush. Awesome! I need a whisk. There you and go. A small brush. Awesome, Rob. Thank you so much. And tongs. Tongs are very handy. Yeah, yes. I use them all the time. Especially when I drop stuff in the oven. Because I always drop stuff in the bottom of my oven, Rob. Chicken nuggets. Uh, <laughs> uh, pizza. <laughs> Okay. That's great. I don't know how much I need that stuff. Thank you. Hi, Kelly, sweetheart. How are you? Let's see who's here. Muka, hi. What's going on with my video? Hmm. Well, there we go. Let's see. Love sending that. Luke is here. Hi, Justina. Abadabadu. Okay. And let's see. What else is going on? Let me see if there's any updates on any of the stuff that we've covered. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hmm. Let's see. What about Gypsy? They said Gypsy posed for her first selfie. <laughs> Let's see. She posed, yeah, she posed for her selfie. It was in that that low uh, budget hotel. <laughs> they made a thing that you got. Let's see. Gypsy, gypsy, gypsy. And her first selfie. Where was her first selfie? in the hotel. A lot of people think the husband is using her for, I don't know what kind of fame he's going to get from that, but... Infamous. Yeah, I don't know. Something infamy. This apparently... We're down in infamy! What was that from? <laughs> was her first selfie in the hotel room. So, well... Did you see my little turtle? Let me show you my turtle. Did I see your turtle? No, there's her first selfie. Where's your turtle? What is that, Bucky? What it's a little that? tiny turtle. See it? Oh, I have oh, one of those. That cute? I you? have one. That's <laughs> cute. Is that says that you're awesome or something? Yeah, you're, you're totally awesome. Yeah. And it says, oh, no, you know it. Te teeny turtle is always here whenever you need a little cheer. Yeah, I have, I have him. I have a little penguin, but I too. It. I That's think Bing says she has those, too. My daughter finds the cutest little things. She knows I oh. love her. That was her first selfie. And, you know, I, I hope that she finds uh, happiness. And But, I mean, like, <clears throat> I mean, it, it's just, like, so many freaking red flags with this whole thing. <laughs> I feel bad for her because she came from a situation where she was definitely in an abusive situation and now right. she's in, you know, uh, something else. It's just, yeah. hey, Ruff, thank you. Best community on YouTube. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't know. Just sad thing. What do you guys think about the gypsy thing? You think he's using her? You think um, people in the chat, you know. When did they get married? They got married in July of 2022, but then, like six months later, she said they weren't married anymore. And then mm -hmm. nobody knew anything, and then she said she was married again. When somebody from The Bachelorette or something, I don't watch those shows, what? was um, some guy was trying to pursue her, and so I don't know.
Where is the? And now she's now he's but he's like, I don't know. He's thirty seven. Is he? Yeah, thirty seven. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. They're probably using each other. Uh, and then they have this, I don't know if you guys heard this one, I'm going to talk about it tonight, but there's a manhunt on for a Colorado woman who killed two of her children and wounded a third mm. and is on the run. What'd she do to the third? Wounded. Which is what, I mean, is horrible because now, oh my gosh, um, that one... She killed her nine-year-old and seven-year-old son, Ugh. staged it to look like a burglary, and the 11-year-old girl was injured. Ugh. And she was also injured. And on December 19th, let's see here. So I'm trying to understand if this... The FBI is assisting the Colorado police as they search for a Colorado Springs mother accused of killing her nine and seven year old, staging it to look a burglary. And they responded to a call about a burglary at the home of Kimberly Singler on December 19th. Found the boy and girl dead and a third child, an 11 year old, injured. Singler was also injured. Sing Singler and her 11 year old daughter were treated for their injuries on the scene. Okay, and then prior to being transported, let's see, I think she she's, was nowhere to be found. She took off and she was last seen on December 23rd. And there was a domestic relations case between her and her children's father. And she was ordered to bring the children to him on December 16th. She didn't do so. And let's see. Then she was ordered to bring them to the Larimer County Court on December 20th. And instead, she tried to kill them and make it look like a robbery. But that is so messed up beyond belief. But think about that poor 11-year-old lost two siblings. Oh my gosh! They don't really. This is why people are so messed up. It's horrible. That's like just unbelievable. And so she's 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 probably. I I I think I know how that's going to end um, with with her probably. Is so the death penalty in Colorado? Yes. It's not, you know, now what is this? Denver cardiologist, drugs and R's, 10 women that he courted online. Cardiologist, Colorado, wow. Drugs and what? R's them, essays them, we can't say the oh, word. Oh, oh. You know. Yes. Assaults them. Yes. Yeah. Wow. I don't know what it is with Colorado, the altitude and other things that. Mm. Caitlin Armstrong filed for a new trial because of her traumatic life, including pregnancies. Well, that's a new one. New attorney for Caitlin Armstrong says she deserves a new trial because her old attorneys didn't adequately explain her traumatic childhood or that she was pregnant near the time she was arrested in Costa Rica, where she fled after killing pro cyclist Mo Wilson. Like, that's really going to make a difference. Hi, sorry, I had a traumatic childhood. Okay, then you, 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 it's okay for you that you murdered her. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Her new attorney, Jessica Freud, 
filed the motion on December 15th, claiming that there's evidence that a prosecution witness lacked the qualifications to say. So yeah, so that the prosecution witness lacked the qualifications to say how Armstrong's DNA came to be on Wilson's bicycle and because a judge refused to suppress Armstrong's statements when she was first questioned by the police. Please. Okay. That's crazy. And then the, I want to tell you about that Massachusetts, that, that another domestic uh, calling it, situation where the mother, father, and the teen daughter are all dead and had this mansion in Massachusetts that had been foreclosed on that was worth like $5 million. And um, Who killed who, Carolyn, in that one? I don't know. Uh, then we've got to find out about that. And then this other guy, some former college basketball standout, was sentenced for killing a three-year-old and leaving his body in the freezer for years. And then there's a... Did you hear about this, Bucky, the little boy on Long Island that they can't find? No. He's a year old? Here, this little boy, I put it on my community no. tab. The he's field? a year old, yep, and he's been missing since in, in Copac. Oh, Copac. Yeah. Oh, crap. Well, my son goes to school. He is missing Leo David Guetta. He's believed to be with a non custodial parent. Ooh. At least he's with a non custodial parent. I thought when I first yeah. saw this that he was wandering around. I'm like, oh my gosh, but hopefully the parent won't harm him. But he's. Um... Oh, so it was like a parent kidnapped him? Yeah, non custodial has taken him. Mm -hmm. I feel a little better when I hear that. Yeah, I do too. And say they're walking around. I know. But, uh, I get that they're a non-custodial parent for a reason, but um, right. yeah, for the you most part, hope they're not they obviously them. love them enough to try and take them and do all that. So right, yeah. I hope that. But that's the case, right? When Alexa says that word, she says, Copiaggi you. Copi yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it is like a weird, really weird. It, um, yeah, it's, and it's an in, it's a, in, not, all right, now let's say Native, Native, American. Uh, Native American name. Yeah. Huh. What a cutie. Here is the live chat. I'm on the live Here we are. Okay. He's not just missing. I know it's better, right? Yeah, I just hope that, well, look at this other mother in Colorado. Because she had to return her kids, she decides to, like, kill her kids. I just, I know that I don't get. Rather and yet, kill them when she left, she up. knew that uh, they were alive. Like she knew that they were alive, uh, that her eleven-year-old was alive, and she just left her. Um, right, right. Anyway, it's sick for a mother Any to kill her children. Goes against all nature. If you love name. your kids and uh, you lost custody, at least you know they're being taken care of somewhere else. They're alive. You leave them. You know yeah. why, why would you? I just don't understand that. I'm one of those, oh, if I can't have them, you can't either. Yeah, that's, like, so that ridiculous. Much? That's, so you, you know, really, that that's, like, to, like, that whole solemn, you know, the king, what is it, King Solomon in the Bible? 
Yeah. Okay, well, we'll cut them in half. And then one says, baby, okay, that's baby. fine by me. And the other one says, no. And he's like, that's the real mother. Right. Um, like the mother would never yeah. want to. Uh, how would a real mother be like, okay, well, I can't have my kids, so I just kill them? Yeah. Like, I mean, it's that's just a real like narcissist. Something isn't is... able to love anyone. Well, that's just, you know, the thing is, they hate their, like, um, spouse. Not It doesn't have to be spouse, but they, they hate that other person more than they love that baby. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're able I don't think they're able to love it all. I don't think that kind of person is able to love it all. So if you can't love your child, you can't love anyone. So crazy, yeah. Just uh um I don't know. And then like for her to run away like and leave the eleven year she knew she's leaving the eleven year old now and to deal with all that and she runs away crazy and then that that other girl savannah soto they have um suspects and stuff in, in that and it's a murder for both of them but it's been a lot of conspiracy on that case already and it's going all around TikTok, and now that's transferred over to the conspiracy on youtube so but let's see. So you said somebody's missing in Seiko, Maine. Let me see. Oh, oh the wait. The mother and child have been found safe. It says, is it a mother and child rough? They were found safe. If it was, it says twenty hours ago. Twenty hours. Yeah. Oh. Twenty hours ago. Oh, let's see. What else is going on? Oh, did you tell Beth you got her her package? Yes, I did. Oh, did you get it? Good. Yes. I got so many goodies. So many pretty things. Pink and pretty. <laughs> pink and pretty. Pretty and pink. That, you know, that um, the glass jar with like the white on it. Mm hmm. And the uh, votive inside. The votive. Yeah. Votive. 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 <laughs> is so pretty it's like glowing and i can't remember who bought it for me <laughs> i think christy or christian bought it for me and it's so pretty it's just that's i'm looking nice. at it right now and it's just glowing it's really beautiful that's nice cool. yeah let's see here Right, what else is going on? I gotta go check that real thing. Um, hmm. Okay. So if you bought it, clean it. <laughs> if you what? Oh, if you bought it, yeah. Whoever bought, bought it, that for L? <laughs> Who bought her that thing? So many people buy me things. It's so kind. I just have a terrible memory. Yeah. Like I, I remember Ruff bought me the pink plate. That I just got. Oh, right, the one you got from Tina. Yeah, I usually remember. It's just been so much stuff for Christmas and stuff. Mm hmm. Hmm. Or maybe I bought it for myself. I don't think I bought that for myself. I remember I liked it so much, and someone bought it for me, and I was so happy. Mm hmm. Yeah. So let's see what else is going on. Why does my chat constantly do that? Freezes or disappears? Yeah, there's something wrong with the Levels chats, and uh, there's I've noticed a lot of glitches running on YouTube. But um, let me go check. Hi, cute kitty kitty. You see the man? She's a very, she's with is a very big man. Yeah, he is. He's very. I think um, he must be like 
six seven or something. Six four, six seven. I, I six based seven on, is huge. I know, but based on her height and how much taller he looks than her, it looks like he is that at least that height. But he's also Wait. looks like I mean, he's a you know definitely shops at the big and tall shops. Uh, his he's a jacket. Brick house. <laughs> yeah, a brick house. He's mighty mighty. Mighty mighty. <laughs> but he she had on like his Adidas. I don't know if it was truly an Adidas, but Adidas like jacket, and it was like tremendous. I mean, it was made to like be on his waist, and it was down to her like calves. Yeah, yeah. Um. It was so big on her. And I'm surprised the arms fit as well as they did. But it was huge. And he and the one thing I put on my Twitter that he's bending over in the back, his like pants are like completely halfway down in the back. It's nuts. So yeah, that was fun. And Well, I'm looking at my old video, and then I'm behind on my YouTube, and it just changed to that little boy. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Hope that it's happy. But, I mean, she's planning on having a baby right away, and I guarantee you, like, they probably immediately tried it. And they're consummating their marriage there, and she'll be pregnant, like, within a month. And it's so much to deal with, you know. It, oh, my gosh. She still has all the aftermath of the murder of her mother, of that guy, her relationship with him. Um, she's never really been in any kind of a proper relationship with anyone. Like, there's so much that she's got to unpack there. I don't know. She's just like, you know, I think she's romanticizing the whole thing and going like, oh, yeah, I'm ready to go off. I'm so happy. I'm ready to start my great life. I uh, have a family and I'm going to be the mother. I'm going to be a great mother because I know what not to do. It's not always that easy. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's like, um, is he really, you know, the love of her life or was he just somebody that, you know, how, I mean, I don't know. I feel bad for her. I think he's way too old for her in so many ways. Like, he's not even, like, I, I don't know, just. And they already had the camera crew. And so it's, like, maybe she feels like she's into this. I just didn't think she was allowed to profit from the crime. But it was the Slayer statute. And she was not allowed I'm very confused. Is it... Is it because she is... Out of prison and not... Still serving time? I don't know. To be honest, would you say I think that it... That with Gypsy, it's looking for fame. Oh, I believe she is too. I mean, she wants to go meet Kim Kardashian and... Um, Taylor Swift, and she probably feels she's at a thing where, like, you know, oh, I want to go see a, uh, I think it was a Kansas City Chiefs game, that, oh, okay, you know, like, she knows about sponsors. I don't think she's, she's ignorant to any of that, okay? And I think that they're probably getting paid well for this documentary, for the book, all of that stuff. And he's supposed to be a teacher. He's supposed to be a special education teacher. And he's with somebody that committed a crime. And the other guy she was with. Yeah. And he also has a child, it says, from a previous relationship. I don't know how old that child is. Um, she is immature and naive. I mean, she was kept as a child. I mean, her mother made her much younger than her real age. And kept her isolated, wanted her kept very childlike and immature. And it's easy for her to fall into another situation where she's going to be, you know, to preyed upon, like take her mother took advantage of her um, and her mother used her. And now, yeah. 
what is this guy doing with her? Like, why did this guy want to write to Gypsy? Like, well, why? He was, come on, he was like a 35-year-old guy or something at the time, 34. And somebody, one of his friends said, I want to write to the Tiger King guy. And he said, well, if you write to them, I'll write to Gypsy. But why, why was this guy even, like, why was she even in his radar? Yeah, right. Why her? Of yeah. all criminals that are in behind bars. Yeah, whatever. like, why does he want to write to her? Like, what's that about? That's just weird. I mean, he's from Louisiana, where she's from originally, but is it something, I, I, I don't know. Just weird. I'd like to speak with his uh, ex-partner and see like, what's going on um and then is he involved in his child's life and you know how is that you know i don't know yeah how does the pa the mother of that, that child, child feel? feel about yeah all this it's like oh your father's with that girl and yeah now like if it was me not for nothing but i'd be like well you're not going and sleeping over that house <laughs> right or you've got or like you're gonna have crews following you people following you you don't know like What's going on? So, her childhood. Yeah, her childhood was stolen, uh, Muka. I mean, that woman, and I, I don't understand how that woman, Dee Dee, was with uh, Gypsy's father. I mean, I understand it because she took advantage of him. She was 24 years old and he was 16. Um, but that's how she, you know, she got what she wanted, obviously, just to get pregnant and uh right but then because that guy you know seems to i mean from the documentary he seems like a nice guy and he's not a bad looking guy he looks kind of like woody harrelson and um mm -hmm. you know Dee, Dee gypsy's mother you know I, I Dee, Dee was like a shark hard to know. yeah like i don't know um sharon yeah, we're live you know that okay just making sure hi sharon hi hi, hi sharon, sharon. Hi. Yeah, she seems real, yeah, about real life. I agree. She doesn't, and it's easy for her to get in a situation where she could be totally abused again. And I don't know. People that are abused usually repeat it and repeat it. Victims are usually victims over and over again for the most part. I never really fully understand. I say that because um, growing up, my mother was abused by her parents. And the only thing she kept saying was, when I grow up and have my own kids, I will never do the things that were done to me. And she made sure of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just it. If, if your parents did something to you that you don't like, then wouldn't you make sure that you didn't do that to your children? You would think so. It's not always how it happens. I know. Well, that's great, though. I know, but they say because it's because they don't know any better. But you, you don't have to know better. You just... Don't do those things that were done to you. Yeah, but the like, cycle of abuse, um, and that's why it keeps going on because when they get in a stressful situation, it's what they knew and they, it's they all don't even know. think about it. You know, it's like, yeah, it's all I know. Anyone explain anything in that? Um, I don't no, know. No, those are Sounds like mine. a cop out to me. Yeah, I got to put the frost down. Oh, it is. Okay. The way my mother was good to me, my, no. she could have done the same thing and been like, you know, oh, well, the, know. the only way I knew. And it was the only way she knew, but she still changed it. She said, I just did the opposite of everything they did. It, right? Yeah. And that's, that's why she was such a good mother to me. Right. And then I didn't know any different. I wasn't an abused, abused child. I just treated my kids the way I was treated. And to me, that's all normal, you know. Of course, because that's how you were... Your mother also mentioned to you that she was deliberately, you know, otherwise you wouldn't know. Yeah. So, and that's, I mean, I've talked to her siblings and they all, you know, agree and they're like, yeah, we would, 
we were treated horribly and blah, blah, blah. And, but for the most part, yeah, they all, like none of them abused their, any of their children. They all knew better and they said, well, I would never treat my kids the way my parents. And, and I mean, they forgave them and all that stuff. Um, the parents even apologized. I remember my grandmother apologizing to me for what she did to my mother. My mother was the oldest child and my, my grandparents would go out and they'd leave my mother in charge of all the kids. Sure. Mm -hmm. If any of the kids, because there were five of them, if any of the kids got hurt while my mother was watching them, and her, she my was mother was would get the beaten when they got home. Oh, yeah. So if her brother fell and skinned his knee, she got the beaten. <laughs> so, you know. That's awful. Yeah. But see, it's, it, like I said, she did apologize. She said, my grandmother said to me, she was brushing my hair one time and she said, um, she said I was a horrible, horrible mother. Did she? Yeah, she told me. She knew it. She said, your mother deserves so much better. And I I'm so happy she has you now. And and I see such. Uh, she's such a good mother to you. And to me, like, I was thinking, like, I didn't think she was the world's best mother because I didn't know any better. To me, she was my mother, so yes, yeah, I thought she was the best mother in the world. Right. But I just thought she was like a, the typical mother. I didn't realize so many mothers weren't no, good like that. Was. I don't know. I think my mother was a lot like you, Sharon. You think so? Um, I, I, I understand. Like, I, I'm an only child, too. And I hear the way you talk about your son, and that's how I know my mother felt and talked about me. Yeah. 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 And I raised him to be a decent human being who's happy. Never laid a hand on You know? Yeah. yeah he's like a great mom. Top college was, you know, got it all A's in school. I never said, do your homework. I I'd said to him one time, well, I already did the fifth grade, so that's kind of you. So... <clears throat> Works with some kids, it doesn't work with others. But I was very kind to him. And it wasn't hard. Yeah. All right. What? So, um, I'm, I'm I, know, so I was like a, a mixture of. I tried to be a mixture of my kids' mother and, the, and best friend because I wanted them to be able to come to me with things. Yep that normally kids won't go to their parents and talk about. Now, my son was very open to me, my son Anthony. He would come and tell me anything. Like when he went out with his friends, he'd come home and tell me everything they did, whether it was yeah. good or bad. I mean, he told me everything. I would just mm -hmm. be like, Anthony, why, why would you do that? You know, like things like, oh, yeah, we, went, we climbed over the fence of the schoolyard and we climbed up onto the roof. Uh, Anthony, mm -hmm. why would you do that? You could have gotten hurt. It's illegal. There's a million things why you shouldn't have been doing that. Right. But, like, I never, I wouldn't yell, oh, my God, why would you do that? You're now you're punished. Right. Because right. if I did that, then he would have been like, all right, well, I'm not telling you what what, what I do anymore. Right. And that was my sister and her kid. And I was the opposite. Yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't have a lot of rules. The rules that I did have were enforced, but I didn't have very many. I really didn't. Not even bedtime. Um, yeah, I didn't have specific. Once they got older, no specific bedtime. But no, I said, "Hey, you go to bed when you want, but make sure you can get up. Be home yeah. by eleven. That was my one rule. Be home by eleven. This is when I was teenagers." I have, oh yes. Mm -hmm. And just basically, yeah, just go, go to your room. I never said, I. Right, it's time for you to go to sleep now, go to bed. Just right. My time, every, everybody goes, it's, it's room time, everybody go in your room. They all had their own TVs, go to, lay down, watch TV. That meant yeah. you'd lay down, watch TV, do your homework, go to sleep, whatever. Mm hmm. Well, I gave my kid the den. So he had his better man there. Yeah. So it was interesting watching him do homework. He'd have the TV on, 
he'd had the computer on. He was on Messenger. He had the guitar in his lap. He had the keyboard, 90 degree angle to him. Hmm. And he got all A's. What are you going to do? And, and Mike was like, I think he should do his homework at the kitchen table. And I said, if he broke, don't fix it. So. I was just going to, yeah. Well, as long as he's getting everything done. Like, yeah. He, Choose your battles, you know. Choose your battles. And with Angela, she was on the dean's list every every quarter. So I never, I never even asked her. Like, um, did you do your homework? Did you make sure you got it done? No. I never really asked her because she took the responsibility of that on her own. Own. She just wanted to do well, and that's what she did. Mm -hmm. well, well, Anthony, I did have to ask. I'd be like, Aunt, did you? Did you do get your homework done? And he'd be like, I didn't get homework. And I'd be like, Anthony. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> See, I didn't care if Michael took all night long to do his homework. Not all night. You know what I mean? Like from the time he got home until he went to bed around ten or so, I didn't care if he got it all done right away or if he took his sweet time. It didn't matter. Yeah. Oh my favorite part. Carolyn. We're being what? a little kidsy on that icing. No. Yeah. That's a lot of icing. <laughs> I don't want to do I wanted to. What are you talking about? I mean, it's got to with it. It's got to be snow. What are you talking about, Elle? Wouldn't see the snow all over the tray. She wants I like to have a little bit of cookie <laughs> with her icing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The icing is decoration, Elle. Not the not the name. It's main not thing. the main deal. Yeah. <laughs> I like drop. to have a little cookie with my icing. Yeah. It, what's the one shape? No, it's perfect, Carolyn. I'm just teasing you. What's the Wait, shape of the else cookies? She'll make yeah. gingerbread, and there'll be like three inches icing. <laughs> yeah, I'm making gingerbread next week, Sharon. Are you? Yeah. Okay. It's the one thing I don't. I don't make. Oh. I eat. Okay, see, I would outline the whole gingerbread man with the icing. Oh, oh she's <laughs> not the person I do that. <laughs> and you can do some of them like that, and you can do some of them as girls, some of them as boys, give them a skirt, give them, you know, decorate them. Well, mine would be all girls with a skirt and puffy sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Big butt yeah. down the front, <laughs> shiny white shoes, and <laughs> little hair. No, no, the knee <laughs> It'd be pink, but Carolyn, <laughs> what kind of icing huh? do you make? I am listening. What kind of icing? What? Uh, a royal icing. Mm -hmm. I am paying attention. Why? <laughs> Why do you think I'm not? You it's okay. If it dribbles, Jimmy, that's what happens. What is the shape you're doing right now? It looks like a truck. The truck. It is, oh. with a tree in the back. Got it. Okay. Oh, cute. I like that. Mm hmm. Jimmy's making me a wreck. Why aren't you watching me like that? <laughs> I'm trying to think of something goofy. I was like, make the wheels. You better make the wheels. Don't. I'm making a door, Jimmy. Okay. Thank you, Christy. You're the best. They have a window and a door. Oh, that's good. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> there we go. Is that the hubcap? Mm -hmm. That's it. The little on the front. Yep. yep. <laughs> the headlight. All right. Now I'm trying to think of something goofy that it looks like. Oh, is that a rocket ship, honey? <laughs> I'm trying to be a jerk. Uh -huh. You don't have to try too hard. I know. <laughs> uh -oh. Score one for Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that all the way here. There we go. Yep, that's how we do it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I put the little cinnamon candy. Little on the end, there. Little on the end, there the notes. Take it a root off. Yeah, I know. Usually, I put the cinnamon on there. I oh. put the cinnamon in there. Cinnamon Maybe would make hot. it better. Don't you think your gingerbread men need fingers? Um, okay. Gloves, yeah. Same. 
Elves yeah, yeah. with yeah. long yes. gloves right up to their shoulders. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Short of the arms. <laughs> Fancy the ones that got Believe me, everyone will love them. The more the icing, the more they'll love them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but then like they would look like things. If, it, if you just color them all in with the frosting, then it's just a, a blob it's of white on sugar. Yeah. It's just a frost cookie okay. with frosting. solid sugar. But you want them to look like, like, see, that looks like it's snowed on the Christmas tree, and those yeah. look like the gingerbread These look men perfect. with faces. These look perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll get it. There, right there, there. Where? Jimmy, do you like more icing or less icing? My grandmother would say the water in the uh, ocean you couldn't find because you're looking in the wrong cabinet. Right. They're right here. Oh, I thought you said you told me. You I said them. here, right there. Uh, and what did they ask you about? I, I don't know. I'm going to try some. No, I want to put them on here. <laughs> <laughs> Elle, uh, Elle wants to know if you want more icing or less icing. I like uh, kind of more icing. Yeah, oh. yay! Mm -hmm. Oh, look at Rudolph with the red nose, Carolyn. Oh, they're pretty red, honey. Oh, cute. Oh, Caroline. Oh, that makes a difference. You know, what what? Oh, nice. They're good. Oh, I almost read those. I should have moved by you, Caroline. <laughs> we should have. Hi. That truck. Sorry. That's you could do it all icing and then put little hearts all over it. To make it <laughs> yeah. <Good. laughs> Here. Here's what Elle wants like that. It's all over. Oh, <laughs> now that's my kind of cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I buy the cookies that are, um, you know, the oatmeal cookies that are iced like that. What? Yeah. Well, I buy those. That... You said you don't like them or you do? No, I do. The, I, I buy oh. them like Yeah, the iced oatmeal. Yeah. You I... know what, though, Carolyn? I like the way you did the first Christmas tree because it, it's like thick. Like when you bite into it, it's like I like the grooves. The you know what grooves. I mean? Okay. The the grooves. Elle's a very hard customer, isn't she? <laughs> yes. I can imagine her in a restaurant. She's the one that can you give me a little Italian dressing on the side in a little cup, and then give me a little bit of French dressing over here in in the cup. Oh, these girls know me in a restaurant, please, right? Please give me a separate plate for my vegetable. I don't want it touching my mouth. Yep, exactly. Yeah, these oh, girls boy. know me in a restaurant. I'll have the I'd, I'd be sitting the there side. looking and giving you the E Y. <laughs> Just take the tartar served. Just the fish and the roll, tartar sauce on the side. <laughs> <laughs> no, no tomato, no tomato ever. Really? <laughs> oh, that's yeah. You don't remember that? <laughs> I don't want it on it ever. I just, don't, I don't, I don't want to just take it off. I don't want it on it ever. I'm one of those people. When I go to a restaurant and people start asking for too many, uh, and I'm like, oh my God, please leave me alone. Don't ask for I have a show schedule. The that that get, you know, they get the special treatment. No salt on my margarita ever. Got to be 10 o'clock, please. I don't like salt on a margarita either. You like it 
uh, Sharon no. Salk? No. no. Me neither. I, ah, I have a margarita, which is I don't like I don't, margaritas. I don't either. But they're the only they're the only drink I like besides wine. I had a strawberry margarita in the casino. Yeah. No. Hold still. Oh yeah, hold still. I know, I know. I, know. <laughs> I had to get something. Oh, what, bite down. Yeah. <laughs> hold still. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm not. Um, I can't do the uh, tequila stuff. Yeah, that's the only thing I could drink is the lime margarita and nothing. No other mixed drinks can I drink. Only wine and that. Oh. Well, there were a lot of good mixed drinks, like mud slops. Oh. oh, yeah. I'm, I'm with Bucky on that. I, I like the more foo foo y type drinks. Yeah, me too. Oh, and sangria. I can't forget sangria. Mudslide. Um, What's in a mudslide, Bucky? I don't know. Chocolate. Chocolate, yeah. yeah like a little cream. Cream. Like a chocolate shake. Palua, cream de cocoa, and cream, I think. And it's thick. They put ice in it. So yeah, it's, it's rich. Four like sticks mm -hmm. in it. Oh. They're usually small, so you can have a couple. Linda drinks those, doesn't she? I don't know. I, don't know. I never drank with Linda. Well, I think. Thought she said it. I don't know that she drank it there. I'm saying I thought she said something about it the other day about my slide. I know. Yeah, I was talking about my slides too. I she may have said she drinks them too. Maybe so we were talking about. Remember, we were talking about sombreros. Right. Which I love sombreros. Which again is like a chocolate. Chocolate milk, you know. Mm. It's a uh, Kahlua and cream. Mm -hmm. Um, as far as other kinds of drinks, I like um, Malibu Bay Breeze because it's coconut rum with pineapple juice, and then a splash of cranberry. But like, you could leave the cranberry out because I'm not thrilled with cranberry. But I like how it looks because it's all yellow and then you get the, the red dripping down the side on the top. <laughs> Boy, those cookies look good. Why is there a baby crying? <laughs> He's listening to something with a baby crying. I don't know why he's listening to something. Oh, that one's a good one, Carolyn. I heard a cat meowing. Is that a Christmas ball? Uh huh. Yeah. Mm. I like the I like the first Christmas tree on the left the best. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, yeah, and I like the one on the right. Isn't that funny? Oh, she likes it because there's a lot of frosting. There's more frosting. Yeah, there's a lot of frosting on that one. Oh well, cut it out. <laughs> oh well. Oh, see now that tree has the pot underneath the bottom. Yeah. Star on the top. Well, no, the others have a star, but yeah, makes a difference. That'll be my tree. Mm. Oh, oh, the one. With Snow at the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> and I like the tree on the top left, too, with all the icing on it. It looks more like a star. Is that a star? I don't know. No, there's no stars. No stars. I usually make there's a lot of stars. stars on bars. There's no <laughs> stars on bars, yeah. Oh, she's no got the angel to do. Angel will have the long white dress and the wings, so. Ah, we shall see. Mm -hmm. You have to order the gingerbread mix here three days in advance. Oh, 
or you could just do it without mix. Hmm? How do I do it without mix? How do you think I did it? You did it without mix? <laughs> yep. What, what did you put in it, Carolyn? Oh. Uh, butter, brown sugar, um, flour, cloves, cinnamon, uh, ginger. Mm. Butter. Did I say butter already? Um, little baking powder, milk, a little milk. Oh. Mm. Mm. I don't think I'm that advanced yet. You don't think you're that advanced yet? No. I'm going to put the other stuff. If it's other stuff, I'm going to put the other ones. The block. I mean, and that's. I put that in my chip. So that's the other one that I'm going to do tomorrow. By next Christmas, I'll be able to do that. All right. Okay. To be more basic. Oh, you know what I'm going to make for Easter? One of those what? lamb cakes with the coconut. Oh, yeah. Mine came out looking like it was like really hard for us because it came out looking like our Maltese. I have pictures it, what? Of, it came out looking like our Maltese. <laughs> so it was like a little bit traumatic to eat it. Oh. I still have pictures of it. Ethan was in a bumbo seat next to her. Uh -huh. Those are so good. My aunt used to make one every Easter. And in a mold, you know. In a mold? Yeah, you, how do you think you're going to make it into look like a lamb? Oh, I have to get a mold, okay. Yeah, it's a Walton lamb cake mold. Walton lamb cake. Okay. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Right. Oops. Let me see. All right, I better let's see if I'm going to hmm. go there for a second. Hi, Gary. How many, how many dozen are you making, Carolyn? Oh, so let's see. I have girls too. I have a lot of cookie cutters, but I'm going to make more tomorrow. That was it for right now, and I've got to sign off here because I have another live later on about the true crime stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah. see you guys. Uh, I think a little bit and a little bit. Oh, Alrighty. you know what? Let me put a uh, redirect on this. That way, I can keep you. In case you don't get a, let me see here, edit, 
I have to go anywhere I have to go into. Okay, so edit here. And I've got my daughter coming tomorrow. I've got to get stuff done here. Let me see. Customize. And go to redirect, add that one. Save. Okay, now I've got to go to. Okay, but thanks for coming by and um, speaking, having a little to chat and see you hopefully in a little bit. Okay, God bless, prayers. Um, Gary, yeah, I'm, I'll look at Gypsy again. I'm also going to do the this case in Massachusetts where these people in this mansion, $5 million, mother, father, and 18-year-old daughter, who was going to a college in Vermont that was $64,000 to go there um, a year. She, they were all dead. Oh my so gosh. We're look at that. And then we're also going to look at um, Gary said, Elle, your lemon bars look good. Oh, was thank you. A bit while working. Well, I'm glad you did, Gary. Thanks, Gary. Okay. Um, and then we're going to look at um, that case in Colorado with that mother that's on the run. All right, everybody. God bless. Prayers. Right. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.